Hi, I'm Shane from Top of the Hill Fitness. Today we have a high intensity interval training session for you, 30 minutes in total. That includes a warm up, round one of hit, a bit of strength, round two of hit, a bit of strength, and a nice cool down. For the warm up, we got a full four minutes, so eight exercises, 30 seconds each, and we'll get started with a boxer shuffle. Okay, side to side, light on your toes, loosen the shoulders. The artwork behind me is by Birta Piontek. Birta is a photographer, sculptor as well, installation artist. Historically, she's done more portraiture and more narrative kind of work. Those two are obviously on the more abstract end of things. I'm gonna shift to arm circles in a second. Those photographs, if you can't tell, they're quite simply just photographs of fabric, really beautiful, elegant pieces. Okay, arm circles forward and backward. You can switch up directions. Shrug the shoulders a little bit too, bringing the shoulders up towards the ears and then loosening them down. 10 more seconds of this. We're gonna do a torso twist with a knee raise next to begin that. So lifting that knee up as you twist the upper body, keep your elbows up, give a couple of an extra twist in the middle before you bring the other knee up. Nice, slow, controlled motions, just warming up the body. Okay, hip raises next, hip opener. So lift the knee up above the hip height and open it up, keeping your chest forward. The goal here obviously is to open up the hip, get that joint going. If you want to bring up the cardio a bit, put a little hop in between. I'm going to move on to the sunflower in a couple of seconds. Arms overhead, maintain that circle with your arms. You bend forward, down to one side and around up to the middle and go back in the opposite direction, maintaining that high circle with the arms the whole way around. That gives a really nice side body stretch. Three more seconds and then a squat jack. Slow squat jack. Remember, just the warm up right now. We got the hard stuff coming. Get those squats nice and low, nice and in control. Get the butt down below the knees if you can. Okay, we're going to dial it up a bit with jumping jacks next. Again, just the warm up portion, so a decent tempo, but don't kill yourself on the jumping jacks. Five more seconds of jumping jacks, and we'll go back to a boxer shuffle again for the last 30 seconds of the warm up. Okay, I think staying loose here. Loosen the jaw, loosen the neck, loosen the shoulders. Quick feet from side to side. Ten more seconds. Okay, now we get into the sharp end of the workout. For the hit section, we are gonna do round one. We got four different groups of A, B, A, B format. 20 seconds hard, 10 seconds rest between each exercise. Okay, you're gonna get ready to go in about five seconds here. We're gonna start with everybody's favorite burpees. Get them out of the way right off the top. You're welcome. <laughs> and begin. Burpee jump at the top, extend, pop up, 
Halfway done. Keep going. Three more seconds. Okay, the second part of this group is going to be a plank hip dip. So plank position on the elbows, drop the left hip down, begin, swing over, drop the right hip down. Moving quickly, side to side. Try to keep that plank position, meaning a straight line from your ankle through your hip through your shoulder. Don't put the hip, hips up too high. Three seconds to go. Okay, up on your feet for another round of burpees. Begin. Nice jump at the top. Keep going. Five seconds to go. Okay, rest. Ready for the plank hip dip again. Move around a little bit in between and down to the elbow plank position. Begin. So moving from side to side. 10 seconds to go. Five. Okay, up you get, move around, a little boxer shuffle if you like. Gonna do star jumps. In three. Begin. Squat down, ski squat, and then boom, up. Arms apart, feet apart. 10 seconds to go. Three. Okay, good job. Now, back down for a moving push-up. So high plank position, push-up position. And you're gonna move your hand over, walk it over, down for a push-up. Walk the hands back over, other direction, down for a push-up. Halfway done. Three seconds to go. Okay, back up for another round of star jumps. This is going to be our last round of star jumps, so let's be explosive about them. Begin. Boom. Yeah, right into that squat position when you land, and then exploding up and out with the star jump. Five seconds to go. Okay, rest, get ready for the moving push-up again. In three. Begin. Move over, lower it down. Walk over, lower it down. Halfway there. Good job, done. For the next grouping, we're gonna do a quick feet squat in and out. So maintain that skier squat position, get the bum low and run the feet. Bunch of steps in and then a bunch of steps out. Bunch of steps in, bunch of steps out. Five seconds to go. Okay, for the second exercise in this group is a high plank knee to elbow crossover. So high plank position in two, one, and begin right knee to right elbow, right knee to left elbow, left knee to right, left elbow, left knee to right elbow. Five seconds to go. Okay, back up for the squat with the quick feet. Get the bum down as low as you can. And run, run, run. Feet barely touching the floor. Halfway done.
Good job, that's a tough one. Okay, back down to the high plank position. And we're going to do right knee to right elbow, right knee to left elbow, left knee to left elbow, begin. Ten seconds to go. Rest. Okay, the last group of this round of hit is high knees in three. And begin. Flex that ankle, drive those knees, drive the arms too. Arms are driving the knees here. Five seconds to go. Good job, okay. Next one is gonna be a mountain climber with a twist. So kind of like that high plank that we just did, except we're just doing alternating. So right knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow, right knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow. 10 seconds to go. Rest. Up for another round of the high knees. Okay, quick, quick feet, barely touching the ground. Begin, go, go, go. Keep it going, 10 more seconds. Drive your knees higher than me, please. Good job. Okay, down to the ground, high plank position for another mountain climber with a twist. Right knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow. Begin. Ten seconds to go. Three. Okay. Now we're going to take a 30 second break before we're, to, before we're going to move into a couple of strength exercises that are more like an active recovery. We only have two exercises, 50 seconds of the exercise, and then a 10 second, 10 second rest before between exercises. And then we're going to take a water break before we go with round two. So we're going to try a warrior three position and we're going to alternate halfway through, switch over to the other leg. So starting on your right leg, Arms out front ahead of you, left leg out back behind you. Try to maintain your balance. Keep that right leg bent a little bit if it's easier. Think of a straight line from your left ankle through your left hip, left shoulder. Try to keep your hips square to the ground. Really feel that in the leg that's planted. Okay, switch over to the other side. This is a great exercise to do when your legs are a bit fatigued. Try to maintain the balance, all those tiny muscles in your feet and ankle working to maintain your balance. Five more seconds. Okay, now down onto your back, we're gonna do a slow bicycle crunch. Starting in three. Okay, right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee in a slow controlled motion. Think about driving the opposite shoulder to the opposite knee. And if you can keep your elbows out of your peripheral vision, that's great. Just keep that chest off the ground, raise that chest up towards the ceiling while rotating from side to side. Halfway done. Ten more seconds to go. All right, take a nice water break here. We're halfway done the workout. Round one of the hit is complete. 
We are going to get into round two in about 38 seconds. Okay, round two, same structure as round one, four different groups of exercise. We're gonna do the ABAB format again, 20 seconds on, 10 second rest. I'm gonna start round two with a front and side jack. Okay, moving quickly, keeping your arms up in front of you and over your head, in front of you and over your head. Okay, we're gonna do a plank jack next. So high plank position, jumping out with your hands and your feet. Modification here is just your feet if you like. Halfway done, good job. Three. Rest. Up again for the front and side jack. Begin. Yeah, moving quickly here. Good job. Now down for the plank jack again. Little hop with the arms, hop with the feet. Begin. Ten seconds to go. Okay, now we're gonna do some jumping lunges. Yay. Three seconds to go. If you're feeling pretty spent already, then just do these alternating lunges, but jump them if you can. Five seconds to go. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna do a side plank with dips on the right side. So down onto the mat, side plank position. Hips up and down. Try not to look at your feet or your hips because then you make it, end up making a crescent shape with your body. Really wanna think about bringing that shoulder to the hip as you bring it up. Okay, up for another round of jumping lunges. Remember with the jumping lunges, chest up, torso straight. Yeah, look the other way, why not? Yeah, get right down with the lunge if you can. Okay, now hip dips, side plank on the left side. So other side. Get those hips up. I'll push them all the way to the ceiling. Ten seconds to go. Nice work. We're halfway through this round two of hit, butt kickers next. Okay, quick feet, don't forget to move the arms. Flex that ankle, activates the calf that way. Ooh. 
rest. Now we're going to do plank ups. So into the elbow plank position, going to push yourself up into a high plank and alternate which sides you start with. So if you're going down with your left elbow, next time go down with your right elbow. 10 seconds to go. Up again for butt kickers. Okay, quick feet here. Feet barely touching the mat. Keep your jaw loose and your neck loose and your shoulders loose. That'll help you drive the arms and that'll help you move the feet. 10 seconds to go. Good job, down for plank ups again. Okay, move quickly for these exercises, but don't forget your plank position. Try to think of a straight line from your ankle through your hip to your shoulder. 10 seconds to go. Up you get. Okay, last group of exercises for this hit round. Thigh slap jumps. Go, go, go. Five seconds to go. Keep jumping. Knees up. Oh, good job. I'm hurting. Okay, down onto the mat for plank walkout. So elbow plank position, and we're going to move the elbows forward and back just an inch at a time. Forward, forward a few times, back, back a few times. Don't go too far forward. You don't want to compromise the hips dropping down. That's not good for the back. Five seconds to go. Okay, back up for the last thigh slap jumps. If you want to put a hop in between these, that's good too. Don't sweat on the art and get going. Oh, 10 seconds to go. Keep it going, keep it going. In three. Rest down onto the ground for the plank walkouts on your elbows. Starting in three. Begin. Ten seconds to go. Keep it moving. A little bit forward, a little bit backward. Keep it going. Five. and rest. Good job. 30 second rest here. We're going to move into a couple of strength exercises again. 50 seconds on with a 10 second rest between. Okay, we're going to do some hip raises. So on your back, feet up towards the butt. And then raise those hips up towards the ceiling. I like to put my arms up in the air. It gives you a little bit of extra stability work in your core. And really squeeze the glutes up at the top. And as you're raising them up, you're squeezing up at the top and lowering them down. You're going down. Think about trying to roll down vertebrae by vertebrae on your back. So the small of your back really gets to touch the mat. And then up again. Fifteen seconds to go with the hip raises. Okay. Up next, we're going to do the prairie dog alternating. So left arm out, right leg back, 
then switch to right arm out and left leg back and begin. Just like with the hip raises, want to do a little hold at the top and really squeeze the glute. These are great stability exercises and great to throw in at the end of a hard workout like that. So your muscles are reminded to stabilize. Halfway done. Ten more seconds. Okay, relax. Now we get to move into the stretching portion. Cool down for about five minutes. We're going to start with a quad stretch. So standing position, We're going to lift the left ankle back up, grab it with your hand. Think of a straight line from your knee through your hip to your shoulder. So you might need to push that hip forward a little bit. And we get a nice stretch in the quad. Try to do this without holding on to anything if you can. That helps with all the stabilization muscles in the foot and the ankle and the standing leg. Switch over, other side. Ten more seconds. Okay, now into an IT band stretch on the left side. So right foot over top of the left and lean back towards that left ankle. Try to keep your weight on the front foot. Going to switch over to the other side. Go ahead and switch. Should feel this through the outside of the back leg. Okay, now into a triangle position. So feet wabe, double shoulder width apart. Lean forward, hands on the ground. And put your left hand down flat on the ground and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. If you can look up towards the ceiling while you're doing it. Now switch to the other side. Okay, now onto your back for a glute stretch. So put your left ankle over your right knee and into sort of a crab walk position and then you can use your body weight to kind of sink your butt towards the ground and stretch out that glute. Flex the ankle of the bent leg there, move a little bit side to side. Okay, switch to the other side. Not totally following my 30 second countdown here, but that's okay. Just a great opportunity to do what feels good after doing a lot of what didn't feel so good. Now we're going to move on to our back, stretch out the back, the torso, the glute a bit more. So bend that right knee up to the chest and then let it flop over to the left side while your right arm goes out towards the right side. 
Keep looking up at the ceiling, even look towards that right arm if you can. Really relax into that stretch as you exhale. Okay, switch over to the other side. Bend that left knee up to the chest, spin it over to the right side, left arm out to the left side and looking up at the ceiling, looking left towards the left arm if you can. Okay, peel out of that and we're going to move into a downward dog position. So think about making a triangle with your body. Hips up to the sky, heels down towards the mat. If you want to alternate which heel goes down to the mat, that's a great little calf stretch combined with a hamstring stretch that comes with the downward dog. Very nice. Okay, now for the last stretch, I'm just going to do a forward fold. Bend the knees a little bit if you want. Loosen out the shoulders, grab your elbows with your hands, tuck the chin into the chest, top of the head towards the ground, and then let go of the elbows and roll up with a bent knee and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, then arms up above your head and a nice exhalation. And you are done. Good work. I am sweating hard. I hope you were too. Thank you for working out with me at Top of the Hill Fitness. Subscribe to our channel. Love to hear what you think about the workouts and the artwork, and we'll see you next time. Bye.